okay. Um, this is uh, an intro to the video. Normally, I make some jokes, then we jump into the stories, but I just have to dive right into this first one today, which is that Apple discontinued the iPod Touch. The The iPod is officially dead, and it feels weird, man. It feels um, strange because that is why I'm here right now. There is no Sam Cole. There is no iUpdate. There is no Genius Bar. There's, there's nothing that I've made without the iPod Touch. And I loved it and it was great. And I say all this in the past tense to say that the iPod it was that. It was great. The iPod fundamentally changed the world. And as sentimental and nostalgic as it makes me to know that it's gone and not coming back probably ever, I get it. I mean, what was the place for the iPod Touch? I've seen a lot of people saying, why would Apple do this? You know, they need to bring it back. But uh, I mean, really the, the question you should be asking yourself is why would Apple keep Keep selling this. Fundamentally, every part of the iPod is built into an iPhone now, and you can get used iPhones or even new iPhones way cheaper than you could have in the past. And that puts the iPod in a weird place. I mean, every kid today kind of has an iPhone because we live in that world. And I get why Apple discontinued it. And this is kind of a run of discontinuations they've had from the original HomePod, the iMac Pro. Those ones didn't make as much sense to me. But that's just my story. I want to hear your thoughts. Share your iPod Touch experience is down below. How it impacted you, how it changed you. Let's put sort of like an RIP memoriam, uh, love letters to the iPod Touch in the comments. I think that'd be really cool and I'd love to read your stories below. Okay, that's all for Mushy Sam today. Let's move on to the rest of the news, which is that uh, buying Apple products is getting pretty bad. It's getting pretty hard. And I think the pandemic and global events of the world constantly being on fire, it seems like after two years, it is finally caught up to Apple. It's noted by Basic Apple Guy over on Twitter, who's a friend of the show. Uh, these are some of the stock times for some recently released products. The new iPad Air with M1 isn't going to get to you until a month from now at the earliest. The Base Max Studio with M1 Max will come in just over a week or two, but the M1 Ultra Max Studio is booked out 52 to 67 days from now. You want a Mac Studio with anything other than the base specs? That's going to bring it up to 80 to 94 days. The Apple Studio Display is also pretty bad at between 60 and 74 days, but the one that blows my mind the most because, you know, those came out in March. I get that things could be catching up to Apple, um, you know, from that event. What about the MacBook Pro that came out in October of last year? Two months until you can get those. And that's the base models or custom configurations. Two months from now, the middle of the summer is when you'll be able to get your hands on a MacBook that came out five months ago. And listen, normally I'd sit here and be like, oh man, this sucks. Like we got to get our products now. Waiting is the worst. But I saw a video that really put things into perspective that due to a closed loop system instituted in China where workers who assemble these products are basically stuck at the factory on site 24 seven, that's been happening for months and they're so tired of being in the same place, eating and sleeping in this closed system as for COVID not to become an issue. Um, they're not gonna see their families. They're not gonna go home. They're just on site always for months on end and they've had enough. Like they're starting to leave. They're starting to attack the guards because they want to go home. It just kind of put things in perspective that like, okay, I'll wait. Like there are real people that are assembling these products, specifically the MacBook Pro, like Quanta is where this video is from, a subsidiary of them that show the workers. So if you're wondering why, this is part of it. The chip shortage is part of it. Global events with the war happening is part of it. So I know it's tough. I know this is easy for somebody to say that has their custom Mac Studio and like display, but keep that in mind that when you're ordering, like, yes, it's unfortunate for us. There's also people going through some Man, I'm sorry this is such a heavy episode. I know you guys come here to like feel good, but this is, this is what I do. I talk about the news. We talk about good or bad. I give you guys uh, what I'm honestly feeling. And this is what I'm honestly been feeling. This is what's been on my mind. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Maybe I'm also feeling unstable because of this uh, uh, rumor for next year's iPhone. And I, I don't even know what, I don't even know how to report on this. So out of nowhere, Guo Minchi, who's one of the longest running Apple sources, who has a really good track record at over 72% accurate, said that he did a survey on the supply chain and that according to suppliers, Apple is likely gonna put USB-C on the iPhone next year. And I know if you're hearing this, you have heard me say so many times that the iPhone will never have USB-C, that Apple was not gonna do it because they have MagSafe. I literally did a whole bit in a video a while back just explaining 
explaining why we were never gonna get USB-C. And it, it made sense, but there's also all these other things in play like regulatory pressure in the EU where they're like, Apple should put a, a USB-C port on here. And they're like, ah, oh, we're kind of getting backed into a corner. But then they also have MagSafe that could circumvent that. But I don't think people are ready for MagSafe. And there's been rumors for years that USB-C was gonna happen on the iPhone and it never has. But now Guo Chi, one of the longest running sources ever, just says it? Like what is going on, man? I am I'm just in the weeds here as you guys. I don't know how to feel about this. On one hand, it's a good source. This is not a sketchy rumor. This is from one of the best. On the other hand, I don't wanna get you guys too excited and I don't wanna get too excited expecting USB-C, which is something that all of us want that would be the best thing ever that would, I believe, actually increase the sales of the iPhone, no cap. I don't know because it seems like it would have happened by now, right? Like why is 2023, unless it is directly from this regulatory pressure, the year that Apple says yes to USB-C? Why not do it three years ago? It's not a too little too late situation because I would happily whore myself out for a USB-C iPhone. I mean, I will, I will start an official Apple OnlyFans to get USB-C. I just feel like I have to be really careful with this because there have been times in the past when I've naively been like one random rumor that doesn't have a good track record said USB-C so USB-C is happening and then we all get excited and then once again the phone comes out with lightning again so this time it's way more likely it's just like what's zero times likely you know it's, it's still zero but maybe it's it's slightly more because it feels like more than zero I mean what's your read what's your gut you guys follow this stuff you watch the videos like me what's gonna happen again Again, this will not be on the iPhone 14 this year. This would be in 2023 on the iPhone 15. So, like, that makes it even more realistic because it it's, means that there's time that Apple could actually do this. They've done this to me. They've, they've done this to me because they get me all excited. It should happen there, it doesn't. A year and year, and now I'm just, now I'm just rambling. In, in trying to explain myself improperly on my YouTube channel. <laughs> this is the human cost of USB-C rumors, okay? It's me right now, and I don't look great. Anyway, guys, this is your Apple News update for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we get USB-C, and drop a like and subscribe for USB-C. All right, let's, uh, let's uh, peace out so I can I, my brain can cool down from all the chaos. See you guys later.